Lesson 8.4, Fractions of a Whole. A fraction names part of a whole amount. The numerator tells us how many equal parts to count. The denominator tells us how many parts there are in all. In our last lesson, video 8.3, we learned that a unit fraction names one unit that is one equal part of a whole. Unit fractions have a one for their numerator. One third is a unit fraction that represents one part out of three equal parts. And the numerator right here is a one. It's one part out of three equal parts. The three is the denominator. And if you haven't seen video 8.3, there's a link in the description so you can watch it. A fraction can name more than one equal part of a whole thing. This cookie was split into four equal parts. What fractional part of the cookie is still there? There were four equal parts, and there are one, two, three parts left. So three equal parts are left out of the four equal parts in all. We would read this as three-fourths. The flag of Austria is considered to be one of the oldest flags. It has three horizontal stripes of equal width, red, white, then red again. So what fraction of the flag is red? Well, the flag is divided into three equal parts, and two of the equal parts are red. Two equal parts are red, there's three equal parts in all, two thirds of the flag would be red. When all the parts are shaded, one whole shape is equal to all of its parts. It represents the whole number one. Here we have three equal parts and one of the three parts, one third, is shaded. Here we have the same three equal parts but two parts of the three equal parts are shaded. Two of the three are shaded, so two-thirds are shaded. Here, all of them are shaded. All three parts of the three equal parts are shaded. So that means the whole thing is shaded. It's a whole. When the numerator and denominator are the same number, like this has a three for a numerator and a three for a denominator, the fraction is equal to one whole. It's the whole thing. When the numerator and denominator are the same number, the fraction is equal to one whole. This is two halves, three thirds, four fourths, five fifths, six sixths, seven sevenths, eight eighths, and so on. So these fractions are equal to one whole. All their parts are counted or shaded. If we have two parts and both of them are shaded, the whole thing is shaded. If you had a candy bar split into three equal parts and you ate all three of them, you ate the whole candy bar. You ate all three parts. So anytime the numerator and denominator are the same number, the fraction is equal to one. The numerator tells us how many parts are being counted the denominator tells us how many equal parts there are in all. The numerator is on the top, the denominator is on the bottom. We can count equal parts, such as fourths, to make a whole. Here, one one-fourth part is here. We can see it's split into four equal parts, and that's one-fourth of it. Here, we have two one-fourth parts. So that's two-fourths. Here we have three one-fourth parts. We have three-fourths. And here we have four one-fourth parts. We have four-fourths, which is one whole. All of them are shaded in. We have all four parts out of the four. We have one whole. We can shade two parts out of six equal parts. Then we can write a fraction in words and in numbers to name the shaded part. So 
Here we have a rectangle, and we can see it's got six equal parts. We shade two of the equal parts, so we shaded them pink, and we can write it in words. There's two of the six parts shaded, that's two sixths. In numbers, we would write a two for the numerator for the two shaded parts, and a six for the denominator as how many parts there are all together. Each square represents one sixth of the entire rectangle. We have one sixth and one sixth, so we have two sixths. Emma divided her garden into five sections. Two sections are planted with peppers, which fraction represents the part of the garden without peppers. And there's five sections. We can draw a shape with five equal parts, and we can shade in two parts that are peppers. Two of the five parts are peppers. We need to find the fraction of the garden without peppers. So that's not peppers. We can see three out of the five sections are not peppers. That means three-fifths are not peppers. Sometimes drawing a quick picture can help us solve a problem so we can see and organize the information. What fraction of this pattern is green? We look at how many green parts there are. There's one, two, three. That's our numerator. Then we see how many parts there are in all. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three out of eight are green. That means three-eighths of the pattern is green. That's three out of eight. Select a numerator and denominator for the fraction that names the purple part of the shape. So here's a list of our choices for numerator, and here's a list of our choices for denominator. We're going to fill in the circle for the correct numerator, and then fill in the circle for the correct denominator. And we look at the picture here, and we can see two of the eight squares are purple. Two of the eight are purple. That tells me that our numerator is two. Two of the eight are purple. And we can see that there are eight squares in all. That tells me our denominator is an eight. We fill in the circle for the eight. And just like when you're taking a test, you fill it in completely, right? So we know the two out of eight squares are purple. It's two eighths. That's purple. So remember when the numerator and denominator are the same number, the fraction is equal to one whole. We're going to talk about fractions on a number line in our next lesson, and I hope I'll see you there.